what else can we do? Metal, start punching buttons. Any buttons at all? Yes, yes, push anything. Gillian, this doesn't seem to be doing any good. Damn, I was sure that would work. Gillian, the road makes a sharp right turn just 1,500 meters ahead. At this speed, we'll never make it. Gillian! Gillian! Hey, Gillian! Huh? Over here! What's that? Gillian, over here! Random! Gillian, you've got to jump over to my bike! Hurry! 800 meters until we reach the curve. Metal, you go first! What? Not again! Move your butt! That curve's just ahead! Understood. One, two, three! All right, Gillian, now it's your turn. Keep her steady. 300 meters until you reach the curve. Gillian, jump! I can't! My timing's off! I... 150 meters! Gillian, now! 70 meters! Now, Gillian, now! Oh, we're too late! Don't bury me so fast. I'm right here. Don't you even know how to ride a motorcycle? Gillian, it's not much farther to Queen's Hospital, and you could probably use the exercise anyway. Why don't we just continue the rest of the way like this? Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I had to, like, press a button or something. Thankfully, I didn't pull that kind of dick move. We've arrived at Queen's Hospital. So, this is the place, huh? Random, are you sure you know what you're doing? This isn't going to be a field trip, you know. We may not come back. And the bounty for this one will more than make up for it. If you're around to spend it, that is. Gillian, let's get going. Alright, well, let's go on inside then. Yep. I don't know, did we like re enable the lock when we left or something? Or did someone else come through and lock it? No one closed these doors, so. Well, I already know where it is. And uh, and there's like a vase there, so it's like a connection with the vase and the chief's vase or something, probably. Perhaps. Let's just get over there. Yep, just do it. Do it! Why do you always have to hit t <laughs> make me tell you to do it? Just do it on your own. Okay. Yes, yes, I know this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, here we go. So they've got the track there. Use this. Flip it or something. Do something with it. There we go. Yeah, see? I knew it. <laughs> it's not even It's not even that sneaky. It's totally obvious. At least there's something that's obvious. Huh? Oh. Well, why wouldn't their eyes register optical illusions? Because because they're robots? But Metal Gear sees it, so what the hell? No, it was pretty obvious, actually. <laughs> the one object sitting on the desk. Yes. Thanks, thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh, lifting it. Okay, I didn't expect it to move that way. Dun dun dun. Sweet. This apparently leads down to a lower level. It looks like Jamie was right. Queen's Hospital does have a basement. And that basement is the Snatcher's main lair. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, what do we do now, Gillian? Um, peep? Actually, we use Metal Gear to save the game. That's what we do next. Go ahead and... Save your game random. Just like me. Just follow my instructions. Just like that. Good job, random. Okay, now, we, now that we're all saved. Breaking the fourth wall. Now we can peep. Oh, well. Okay, then. It's, actually, it's not straight down. It's kind of at an angle. That's why it's stairs and not a ladder. Just saying. Okay. Cool. 
Well, wouldn't the hallway have dust, though? Because people would go through the hallway in order to get here to go down the steps. Whatever. Descend. It's a very narrow stairway. We'll have to go down single file. Okay, uh, who's going to take the point? That's obvious. The guy with the light. Hey, that's not fair. Doesn't look very narrow to me, just saying. Also, we could carry him. We could carry Metal Gear. Well, well, what do we have here? It's the hospital corridor. It's the same hallway, but not the one that's on the first floor. So what does that mean? An entire floor of Queen's Hospital has been duplicated underground. So the same floor is both upstairs and downstairs. Sort of like parallel worlds. So that desolate setup upstairs is all just a smokescreen. They're making it look like the place is closed down, but in reality, they're keeping themselves quite busy. Gillian, that means we're already right in the middle of their headquarters. Please use extreme caution. Sometimes this game, you know, sometimes this game makes some brilliant leaps that I'm not expecting, and then sometimes it just stands around stating the freaking obvious in a very <laughs> dumb manner. Hey, this looks just like the floor above us. That means it's exactly the same as the floor above us. That means the floor above us is not the same as this. That means that there are two different floors. That means that this floor is not the same floor as the floor above us because the floor above us is different than this floor. I mean, for freaking hell's sake. <laughs> Just shut up sometimes. Just shut up. Check out the area. Uh huh. Yeah, we know. Jump through time. <laughs> as if they never heard of uh, of one floor being constructed the same as a floor above it. Oh, really? Huh. Uh, I don't know, is it? It's the right color, I guess. Sort of. Uh-huh. Well, monitors first. Alright, well, then let's do the doors. Oh, right, not the move, it's the... Alright, well, let's talk first. Oh, oh, okay. And yet, as they say that, they, they've still done plenty of blabbering about nothing. Reception desk. Yes, as we know. Switches. Let's not bother with the rest of this stuff. But there's only two. Oh. So I guess the third one must be have a switch inside one of these other ones. And just for just for reference, yeah, sometimes I might state I may state the obvious as a commentator, and that may be kind of annoying. I apologize for that, but it's just kind of me thinking aloud as I'm coming to conclusions. That's kind of the point of the commentary, sort of. Kind of. Comes with being blind. Let's just use both of them. Let's get over with. Hopefully it doesn't screw us over in some way. It may, like, opening them both may mean that we get... Uh, someone coming up from behind, but... I'm gonna risk it anyway. Cool. What's that beeping? It sounds like a uh, motion detector or something. Now we got two doors. Can we open them though? All right. Yeah. It's pretty high tech too. I'm impressed. Even though the colors are just hurting my eyes. <laughs> a hospital with green metallic walls and a brilliantly orange bed. That'll really put the patient at ease, you know? Not at all make you feel like you're stuck inside of some weird spaceship. X-ray devices. Oh. Okay. How about the monitors? Brand new, huh? Yeah, they look just like the ones upstairs, which aren't brand new. Hmm. I guess it's like the same- never mind. Mm, okay. Look over what? Oh. <laughs> Look, there's a skeleton over there, just out of sight. <laughs> Apparently that was important, because we got the da -da 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 sound. I don't know why. Oh. Okay, well that's concerning. Check out the skeleton. 
Huh. Alright. Well, I guess it is supposed to be a model of a Snatcher, then. Uh oh. Still wondering if we can go in these doors or not, but he's, they're not making any mention of them. So that suggests no. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of radiation for trying to treat cancer. I suppose you do use radiation therapy, which is ironic sometimes because you know you think of radiation causing cancer, so yeah. Smell. Oh. Nothing too odd then. At least they're sterile. Sure does. Okay, that's apparently that. Oh man, my chair's getting a little uncomfortable, but I feel like we're close to the end, so I want to hang on and finish this out, see this through, without another cut, before I get to, before my caffeine kick fades away and I get tired again. Let's check out inside door number two. <laughs> Eyeballs bubbling in a jar. Sweet. And once more with the buzzing. Which one? Must be the beeping, huh? Yeah, it is kind of annoying. Sniff around. Rotting fish. That's pretty gross. Ah. Alright. Wait. What? What about the room next door? If you want me to check, check out the room next door, maybe I can go in over there at the end, end there. Like, forward and to the right. Kind of doubt it, though. So how am I going to open the door, I wonder? Check out the room. Uh-huh. I guess they're working on the new kind of skin here. Argon. Ah, gotcha. And how about the shelf? Mono... Uh... Whatever. I'm not going to try to read it. Oh, okay. Cool. Makes sense. It's a lot of stuff. We still don't really know how it is they take the bodies of people they snatch, do we? One last thing to check out. Hmm. Hello? What, you, th you thought they were stupid? I don't know why you think that sentient robots are stupid. That doesn't seem like the kind of logical conclusion you would draw. In fact, quite the opposite. Oh, really? Huh. Strange. Wonder why that is. Oh. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Why would you assume that it was done by a government institution? Then you would have to assume that the Snatchers were part of a government institution, which seems like something that the game hasn't been suggesting so far. Yeah. Uh, I think there's more problems here than just that it's in violation of regulations. Yeah, okay. It's a lot of much ado about nothing there. Voila. Cool. I'm just kind of quickly looking at these to make sure I don't miss anything important. So I think that there's probably not. Oh, wait. Containers. I can look at these again. Maybe. But I guess it's not too important. By Frankenstein, you do mean the man and not the monster, right? Because that's totally a misconception. Sweet. We already did the shelf. So, anything else? Let's get out of here, I guess. Well, we can't open the other door. Can or can we? Bash it open! Hmm. There were no switches. So what we need must be in these, unless it's in that desk over there at the far right. 
Uh, because only two switches. Okay, how about you investigate the doors? Such as door three. Morgue, huh? Yeah, that's what a morgue is. Brilliant! Hmm, so how to get in there? I don't know. I feel like I've done everything in these two rooms, but it could always be a matter of coming back and doing something again. I'm not unfamiliar with that being the case. Maybe I need to... I was going to say maybe I need to take the skeleton, but probably not. Um, I guess. I don't know, I, I can't see it really, but yeah, it didn't seem like it. Comes and goes. No, it's probably someone sneaking up on us, actually. Uh, just foolish enough to make that assumption that it's nothing. That's what's gonna get us killed. Good job, Metal Gear. Never trust you anymore. If we die, I'm not gonna ever trust you again. Other rooms. Okay. Well, we already were in both of the rooms. So, hmm. Maybe. Maybe I need to, like, do. I don't know. Maybe there's some more switches he didn't notice right away. Only two buttons. Oh. Can I, like, uh. I'm gonna try something. Will I close them both? Nope. Okay. Maybe... The two buttons... Gotta be something more to this. Check on this floor a little more. How? How are we gonna do that? Hmm. Okay, well, it's just more of the same, so I guess I'll be right back once I figure something out. See you then. Oh. Ah. Uh, so that's what I missed. I had to look over again. How? God damn it. I mean, I understand that that wasn't on screen, but these guys should have seen that, because they were standing there and... Never mind. Okay. Yes, it was. There we go. Yep. Where, where would it be? Whoa! Okay, I'm getting my butt, button ready. I'm trying. Boom, boom, come on. Hit it, fast. Did I get it? I think so. Yeah. Did I get it? The Snatcher's functions have been terminated. There's no doubt now that this is their maintenance facility. This one was probably still waiting to get its artificial skin installed. So this is what they really look like, huh? Yeah, that's the scariest thing about them. You can't tell them from real people once they've got that skin on. Perhaps that's humanity's great weakness. We're always judging books by their cover. And it's just that human weakness that they're out to take advantage of. All right, random. Metal, let's go. The HQ's junk squad can take care of him later. We've got an investigation to do. Uh oh. Uh 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 No, you don't. No, hold on, hold on. Uh uh uh, no. There we go. Phew. Who was I playing as? If... If uh... If I was just talking, and then I... Then he got up... Who was I playing as just there? Oh, never mind. Yeah, terminated. Nah. <laughs> You've been dominated. Alright, good. What if I, uh... Yeah, it again counts the hits, that's cool. I wonder if it is going to, like, keep my life low. I don't know. Yeah. It'll go down too tough, though. I was just missing that I had to hit it on top of the head, basically. We check it out a bit more. Sure hope not. Anything about the smell? Can I smell the Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Alright. 
Well, let's check out the second room again. Maybe now we've got something new over there. Hey, down to just room number three. Hmm. Can we... Check out door number two now? Yes. Okay, let's try it. Uh, I believe I've done everything in here, though. We have to keep looking around here, just like I did in the other one. Mm, no. Let's get around the room. I don't know. But I was thinking, maybe I could, like... Oh, yeah, see, it does want us to try door number three now. Well, let's see what we can f how we can fiddle with these switches. Door one closed, yes. Door two closed. Now oh, what can we do? Maybe... Only two. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I could push them both at once or something. Yep, so we can. At the same time. 